Yeah, we're going to be handling stress and anxiety from the holidays today. We are going to be talking about why the stress and anxiety was there and also why today, if you've already noticed it, there are no coincidences today. Um, today, just random things um, that are showing up in your life aren't random. They're there to show you something. So count and watch every coincidence today. Super powerful day. It's a step seven day, which in Capricorn, which means today is a spiritual day. It's a day about teaching and learning, or you're getting taught and learned where you're out of balance. So uh, looking forward to today's, uh, today's live. I want you to put in the comments here. First of all, give me a bunch of likes. Hit that button down there. Send this off to a few friends. Um, just send it off to your partner, to your spouse. Send it off. And it, it tricks the algorithm up. And also um, put in the comments what you have been feeling over the last 48 hours. I have, I have, I've had the most bizarre experiences since, what are we today, Friday. So I have, since Thursday morning, I've had this set of bizarre experiences and, and people coming in my life, including two people with my exact same birthday. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Winnipeg, Manitoba. <clears throat> and, um, Hi, sweetie. Hi. Everybody, this is Brittany Lineham. Brittany's my daughter. She's, uh, uh, Brittany, tell everybody your birthday and uh, tell them where you are. July 3rd, 1997, and I am in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And you're a 12 degree Cancer. Do you know your moon and your rising? Uh, not off the top of my head. That's I think funny, there's, I think there's a Scorpio what? in there. Yeah. It's Scorpio in there, and uh, you're you're a three degree Sagittarius. Or sorry, three degree Cancer. Uh, sorry, you're a twelve degree Cancer, which is nets to three, which means that you're three. That like, which Sagittarius Cancer. There's another Sagittarius Cancer right here. <laughs> yeah, here's your here's your sister. Hello, Hi. <laughs> nice here's to meet you. Astrological you sister. <laughs> And uh, uh, so uh, Mary is also a, tw uh, a three, net three um, cancer. So you guys are a lot alike. So it's kind of like having you around. Perfect. You need another me. <laughs> <laughs> so Brittany, you're getting ready for your social on New Year's Eve in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Yep, I am. <laughs> I know that I know that there um, I know that people we have uh, five sets of supplements, including the nutrition program. So the 12 week nutrition program with, with the five human garage supplements are, um, are going to be auctioned off at your social. Yes, yep. So anybody in Winnipeg who wants, who wants to, who wants to go, you're going to get a really good deal. If you go to her social oh, really? and really you auction deal. on the nutrition, cause the nutrition program is 12 weeks and the supplements that are for autoimmune. They are for uh, weight loss. They're for appetite control and inflammation. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep, we do. We have a huge supplement pack and we got so many other prizes. So, so if yep. somebody's in Winnipeg and they want to go to your social, how do they get a hold of you? Um, DM? Probably Facebook. Yeah, probably Facebook would be the best option or Instagram. Um, yeah, they can DM you. They can DM you. Yep, they can DM Brittany me them. and I can get them a ticket or save a ticket at the door. And uh, yeah. Now, tell, now, so this is an interesting concept because we're talking about working with community. We're building community. And you know, like if you're in the city and you're going to go get married, your, your mom or your dad pay for everything. And then that's a big cost or they have to pay for it yourself. And you know, everybody knows that, that we're in a non for profit. I don't have income. I don't have revenue. So thank goodness that, thank goodness that I don't have revenue because I don't get to pay for it automatically. There you go. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, but that's but the, what you guys are doing is really really interesting. Like why now if you're getting married as a young couple, one of the biggest expenses I have young couples or parents paying this off for years. What is this social about and how does it work? And this is about community, and I want people to hear this because it's time for community to start helping each other. Costs are getting way out of control. Yeah, that's for sure. Especially wedding costs. Everything that has a wedding, the word wedding in front of it is more expensive than anything else like if you need a cake versus a wedding cake it's a lot more expensive so the social is just kind of a way that the bride and groom can make a little extra money from our friends and family and 
anybody who wants to come to help pay for a portion of the social. So, you know, or sorry, portion of the wedding. So the wedding, say the wedding's like $30,000, sometimes people can make $10,000 for social. So that's like a third of the cost of the whole wedding. So it's just an, op an opportunity for everyone to get together, have drinks, listen to good music, win some prizes and raise money for the bride and, and groom. And they actually buy, so there's tickets and supporter tickets. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. So some people don't like, some people don't do it, but a lot of people do do it. So they'll do support tickets and regular tickets. So if you can't attend, you can at least support the couple. So we've got a lot of support tickets so far. And some people do this and some people don't, but we are doing a, um, a raffle for our support ticket purchasers um they can, so whoever they buys... can win supplements oh yeah <laughs> no we have uh prepaid mastercards so we've got three prepaid mastercards so if you buy a support ticket i put you in a raffle for prepaid mastercards and then whoever wins will win a hundred dollar prepaid mastercard and there's two fifty dollar prepaid mastercards which a lot of people don't do that but i just knew we'd be getting a lot of support from people in other provinces and other areas so i wanted so to we do get, something we got a lot of people in winnipeg um that actually are human garage in 28 day reset going to lace the artist program and I, when i was joking i said i said uh, you could probably actually go to britney's social <laughs> and get your reset bundle and your ticket to the to the 12 week nutrition program uh, uh rebuilding youth you could probably get it quicker by going to our social than you could pay for us i mean it's it, it would be awesome if people came and won, right? Like it's, there's so much, there's so much to win um, that, yeah, there's that, that huge bundle is like worth quite a lot of money, so. Hey, so, so, um, uh, so I guess people out there would probably uh, ask you, what's it like being my daughter? <laughs> uh, interesting. It's uh, interesting um i mean it's good uh we don't uh, we don't see each other as much as i'm sure we both like but it's good yeah i think that'll change i think when you're out of your your nine to five uh costco job and you're and you're in helping the world in another way i i think there's a lot of room for you on our team over here I'll keep that in mind yeah you have to be able to take me away from costco <laughs> so uh yeah so basically what you're saying is nothing's been boring eh? no never never a dull moment in my life <laughs> <laughs> so um um so uh so uh your socials on new year's eve new year's eve new year's eve it's in uh in my area charles wood um in winnipeg there's a little community center down the road. So we booked that for New Year's Eve and we got our DJ and we spoke to him the other day. So lots of good music coming our way. And uh, we have a seven day vacation as one of the prizes. So <laughs> golden ticket prize, seven day vacation. Who doesn't want to go somewhere? Who wants, who doesn't want to get away from all this cold wintry snow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why, I, that's why I'm back down in, in Mexico because I, I, Vancouver is just perfect. And then it started winding and howling uh, last night, and I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Go. Okay, but yeah, you, I was, it, it's uh, I, I, um, anybody in the Winnipeg area can just certainly reach out. Um, I love you. Love you. Uh, I, I'm wishing the best. I'll talk to you before then. Yeah. It's going to be a great, great social. Um, I love yeah. the idea that you're doing it. The reason I want to talk about it is because it's time for a community to, 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 to support each other. And that's one of the ways you guys do it. And that's what I really appreciate about what you guys are doing. You're bringing the community in. And this is a way that, and, but as everybody does that there, that's what yeah. I like. That. Well, it's really, it's really popular, especially in like the smaller towns around Winnipeg. Like not that it's not popular in Winnipeg, but in the smaller towns around Winnipeg, the whole town goes, like the whole community goes because everybody knows everybody knows everybody. So in like places like Lactabani, like there's a huge social there on New Year's Eve. So a ton of people in Lactabani are going to that one. That's awesome. So a little bit of competition, but yeah. my social is better, just saying. Yeah. Well, you also got a dad who's got a lot of media. So yes. everybody in Winnipeg, come on out to Brittany's social. Yes, we'd love, we'd love to have you. <laughs> okay, Bye. love you, Brittany. Bye. Bye. 
Shameless plug for my daughter doing her social. <laughs> so what we did is we gave her uh, five of the 12 week nutrition programs with a bundle of supplements we donated to the uh, social. That's a way that she can help raise money for her wedding. And you know, but the really important thing I want you guys to hear about this is that we're going back into community and that's what the human garage is really about. <clears throat> we're going back into community and by going back into community, we're supporting each other. And that's, you know, a lot of it, um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stuff that, that you see going on out there right now is because people don't, they feel alone. And we were talking about this, this today is that people don't really have a place to go. And if somebody said winter peg, yes, Manasnova. <laughs> yes, people don't have a place to go. And, uh, we've been taught to disconnect in community. Like we don't necessarily talk to each other anymore. And we, and when we do, we talk socially, we don't talk about what's really going on in our lives. And that's, I was just so impressed at what these, uh, what these uh, kids are doing now is that they're, they're crowdsourcing and community and they all go to each other's and they support each other. And this is a way that the burden isn't left on one person. And that, you know, debt is a really, uh, really big issue. We're coming out, students are coming out with student debt, causing anxiety, stress, and depression. They're coming out with social debt. They're coming out with debt from weddings. And by the time you get done with your education and your wedding, yeah, a lot of people are like, you know, $150,000, $200,000 in debt and paying off those loans for, you know, five, eight, 10 years. This is not a way to do it. And that's what I love what they're doing. People are confused this way. Yeah. Well, we're working on community. We're getting there. So Ella DeFente. Ella DeFente. I don't think you can hear. Can you hear that? Can you hear it on there? I'm trying to bring somebody up. Ella, Ella, Ella. It's uh, me not trying to, LA Defente, Defente. Okay, not happening. Stella Devo. <clears throat> yeah, usually those, de those debts cause divorce too. Hello, Stella. Hi, Stella, all the way from Turkey. Yeah. Hi, this time we're in Adana now. Oh, where are you? I'm in Adana now. Adana. You know, Adana kebab. Yeah, it's the place if known for their kebab. Oh, and <laughs> kebab. Yeah. So tell everybody your birthday. My birthday is October 4th. October 4th. And that makes you, are you 12 degree? I'm, I'm 11. Oh, 11 degree. Oh, you're okay. You're a Virgo. But I have, actually, I wanted to ask you about that because I, my moon is 29 degrees. Sagittarius, I mean, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, that means that your grandmaster Aquarius in your moons. That means that, that emotionally, um, when you were younger, you had a lot of emotional turmoil and oh, a lot yeah. of ups and downs <laughs> of processing. And the moon is how we move through the world. So your emotions are seeking fairness, mm. community. Um, but that, that would probably be your highest state of awareness unless you have another 29 in your chart. Okay, yeah. Mm, yeah, so I can't remember. Basically, Everything is trying to catch up with your emotional maturity. So, yes. So like your, who you are as a person is trying to catch up. Uh, the way you embody uh, balance in your life is trying to catch up your relationships, the way you stop and start things, the way you think about things. So basically your emotions are, are like rock solid and, 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 and strong, but you took mm -hmm. a lot of turmoil in your first 30 years to get there. And and twenty nine yeah. means that most likely you're going to do to some you're going to do something to impact the world emotionally. And I mean, mm -hmm. you're an artist. Your family is yes. famous musicians. Yes. So yeah. So likely that's probably what you're going to do. And you know, I I want to say that I I really enjoyed watching your whole twenty eight day reset um, because <laughs> you're every you're like you're just grabbing people off the beach. You're pulling people in. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining you're like, hey, you over there, come over here, now do this. That's, that's what it feels like. I can't, you know, it's something actually I learned in my human design that I have the, I think it's the, the, the left angle cross of, I think it's left, I can't remember, of tension. And I used to kind of get attacked or like, like, why do you always put so much? And now I accept it. I'm just like, I'm here to create just a little bit of tension to help people move forward and uh actually you know i i've had a little bit of a gap in between like moving and just um kind of 
re I would say reprogramming my um, the past was always focused on making everything beautiful around me, but I would put, always put myself last. Yeah. So I've been kind of I'm continuing. I'm still doing the urine therapy daily. Yeah. And I, I actually wanted to say one thing about that. I was doing it with lemon originally. Yeah. But I find I, then after a while I started getting like. Why? I was just. Why would you do it with lemon? Know, yeah. Why am I doing it with lemon? I felt like I was putting a perfume in something that was actually when you actually take it straight yeah. without with without anything it's actually like your body is like having this uh, memo of like what's going on it's really interesting and and i found it, yeah yeah so uh, like, that, let's actually talk about that so what do you, so what has changed for you or what do you notice changing how long have you been doing uh, so i've been therapy? doing it for about two months now i think it is yeah. um i did 20 days of um what is it irish sea moss yeah that here you can only get it in like 21 day jar and i just haven't with the move and all of these things i'm still kind of trying to um find there's only one source that sells it at this point and they sell it in the gel form yeah. and it kind of makes it a little bit more of a financial like okay choice and when you're in a, a, a family where you're still trying to get everybody on the same page of understanding that these are like important things yeah. it kind of takes time but i was doing that and then uh and that only was 20 days i felt an amazing like hey, difference with we that can, we can get we can get um through uh arda and the united states from turkey he has uh that they have an office in turkey he could probably get you some of the supplements. That would be awesome. When I talked to him a little bit about it, he was like, because uh, I've had bad experience with the Turkish, um, what do you call it, the customs? Yeah. They really are um, very difficult. And so when I talked to Arda about it before, he said, well, uh, yeah, it might be better if you can find somebody who can bring it to you. Yeah. Um, well, um, yeah, I mean, the other thing too is, uh, they could be repackaged and sent in as samples from somewhere in the United States. They wouldn't even see it coming in. Okay. Them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it would be awesome because the thing is right now, like I, for me, I'm on a, a Venus uh, midheaven line in Turkey, especially when I'm closer to Istanbul, but uh, I've been drawn to this you country. Gotta be and kidding. It's... I mean, that's your Libra. Uh, that's your Libra line. Venus is Libra. It's sick. Exactly. So basically, basically you're on your sun sign is what you are. Okay. Yeah. So this yeah. Is where, and this I'm is like, where like Vancouver is my sun sign, that line. Hmm. And, and people that are listening, if you want to go to astro.com and take cook astro travel or astro cryptography, you know, you could actually see in the world where, how, how you are likely to act or react based upon that exact spot. Like for me, like this place here is on Cynthia's Pluto line. So for her, hmm. everything is like, ending and beginning like it feels like our world's getting torn apart yeah but uh but up in vancouver it's our both of our sun sun lines oh wow okay yeah i i, I love the pluto lines too um I, I mean i managed to attract it like my eldest son since he was three lived on a pluto line Did we cut out yeah we're back did I cut out there from that? Okay. Yeah. No, the Pluto lines. I've had experience with family being on Pluto lines. Um, my son lived on a Pluto line in different parts of the world. We didn't know about it until later. So I recognize, I, I love the power of a Pluto line, but it's constantly I can uh, understand that well, it would be. Well, if intense. it was your son and he did it in multiple different spots, it's because what he's doing is ending all the karmic relationships from last lives so that yes. he can move forward in this life. So that means that usually when somebody does that, it means that they're going to perform a lot in this world. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, wow. The So, yeah, what I was going to say is with the, the Venus line, uh, being near a Venus midheaven line, I feel like, I know I've come here to share something big and I had a like an experience when I turned 31 in Istanbul uh, in 2000, what was it, 2006 or seven, something like that. And I knew at that moment, it was like a, a tap into the Akashic field of just feeling this 
uh, everything went into slow motion and I just knew I came for something here and then time life has its way of like bringing the things that you want become closer and then you're like wait I don't want that and then it comes back again and that's and I ended up in Turkey but now I uh, in Adana I'll be here for a few months and I have people already asking me can you come to this to our to my son's school and maybe share some of these things that you're doing so I'm gonna start doing this as well um, that's really cool and uh, so when I can feel good because I did notice when I was taking the CMOS that I did feel just like this more like everything like I was able to view myself I'm glad you from had above. that experience so actually the fact that you haven't had access to it readily um, mm -hmm. it's probably been a good experience good experience because you're going through the fascial maneuvers you've gone through the 28-day reset you have access to things like diatomaceous earth but the CMOS is t particularly tough because of where you live in Turkey mm -hmm. the when you add it in then you see the contrast and the reason why I tell people this all the time your body is made with 102 minerals. And each one of those minerals, it takes, what it does, it, it's like, it's electric minerals to conduct electricity. So it's mm -hmm. conducting electricity through your fascia and then through your muscle skeletal system to different organs or different lymph nodes or different glands in the body. And when one doesn't work, when one mineral is deficient, the body will find its way around it. It'll adapt, mm. but it uses energy to do that, which drives up, up stress. Yes. That driving up a stress uses stress hormones. Every time you have to do something that's not normal for your body, your body fires adrenaline, norepinephrine, and cortisol. This is why mm -hmm. we get fatigued. This is why we get older. This is why our thyroids dysregulate. That's why it's that's why Irish Shimas is so powerful for thyroid regulation. Mm -hmm. And and so you're getting the real feeling that all the circuits are connecting yes yes yeah it was really amazing it was just it was as if like my whole body began to because of the the fascial maneuvers it allows everything to open up but it it was taking it like next level open up yeah like yeah. my and mind this is where, this, was so I tell clear this to people all the time because they they you know like people they they're, they're thinking of supplements and usually being oversold or i don't like to take things mm -hmm. and i'm what i'm saying to them is that you're not taking things basically you're eating food that no longer has the minerals and the elements in it that it used to like I met this uh, as I think it's up on our story today or, or there's a reel coming up about a uh, about somebody in Vancouver uh, one of our community members I helped the son he's 14 years old he's an athlete and they they do everything they grow their food mm. they have they have a special water for the house they uh, homeschool the kids they don't have access to electronics. It's EM free, uh, EMF free, all this stuff. And the kids still contracted, warped, dehydrated, mm -hmm. and having body pains and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, because your their soil, even though that they're mm -hmm. growing, the soil that they grow in is deficient in, mm -hmm. um, in, in selenium, and the silica has been depleted out of their body from the sky. So they don't, so they can't even absorb. And if they don't have that, it doesn't matter how organic or how good the practice is. Mm -hmm. If you don't have silica in your body, you don't have selenium, there's nothing else that's going to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So that, with that being said, uh, this is something that I want to ask you before I actually went off uh, in re uh, with the borax. Uh, I remember having a very strong connection to borax when, when I was little. My father, one of the things that he had us do was, because we were homeschooled too, he did, had us member the uh, memorize the table of um, contents. Yes, table. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And boron. Boron. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And I, I wanted to ask you what they sell as a cleaning, like as long so as it's one hundred percent. So borax um, or boric acid is basically borax is boron, mm -hmm. sodium, and oxygen. Okay. Yeah, but. Um, I, I don't recommend people do that. I recommend people take get boron in. and how they choose okay. how they choose to get the boron is up to them. Okay. Okay, okay. You hear what I you yes. hear what I'm saying, yes. right? Yes, yes. Yeah, because the the because there's very clear def there's a very clear definition in the in the um in the uh in the uh the FT the FDA mm -hmm. in the United States mm -hmm. about what you can say. Like um we can't even I can't even tell you that it's okay to do that. Yes. I can tell exactly. you exactly but I can tell you all day long 
that boron, which is which is known and proven, and if you want it from us, you can go to the uh, you can DM us, uh, and we'll send you a report from the National Institute of Health on on boron. Okay. And what boron does, and yes. boron, crazy. It's like when when you read it, you'll go, "Holy crap! How come not everybody's talking about this?" And by the way, there's there's a lot of high end medications and even supplements that put boron, like the really good ones that put, put small amounts of boron in it. You know, like mm. for men, boron, 60 milligrams of boron has been clinically and scientifically proven to uh, remove, pro remove uh, prostate issues. Mm. And they have mm. in that article, and I'm not even going to go into it. I don't want that kind of, I don't want that kind mm -hmm. of hassle, but, but they even say, they even talk about what diseases it is known to cure. And this well, is from the government. Yes. It's there. Yes. It's yeah. Well, I remember when we were reading the, the learning the table from the table, and I remember reading about boron as a eight year old little girl, and thinking, "Wow, like this is something." Uh, that's it's interesting because that's the one that stuck out in my head all these years later. Oh, did we get connection? Somebody. Somebody. It was funny. Tell me, he said, "I've been on Irish sea moss and dye smashing so for four months. I don't feel any difference. I'm doing the maneuvers, but not on a daily basis since two months, because I see no difference." Well, that, that's interesting. What I, mean, I can I, say, I, say too is, <laughs> do the fascial maneuvers twice a day, and it changes everything. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because you, because I, I noticed that when you did your reset, because I was watching you, and you, you literally post. 10, 15 things a day. So exactly. I was watching your journey. I noticed that you were doing some in the morning and some in the af afternoon and night. I tell people this, if you were to do, if you only had 30 minutes a day to give, you're technically better to do three blocks of 30, of 10 minutes than you are to do 30 mm. minutes at once. Yeah, that's interesting. That's the same thing that I say to my clients for the, that take Bach flower remedies. Like you can, you take it all in one go and it's not going to give you the same benefit than if you, take it somebody repeated. asked if boric acid and boron is the same thing well bor boric acid is made from boron so it's it's just how it's packaged guys yeah, yeah. um so so what is it I, okay two questions because we kind of got off topic for a yeah. second there so what do you think the biggest things the biggest before and after differences in doing urine therapy for two months like what do you what do you notice i i noticed that I when i feel um I, when i take it I, first of all, I've noticed the difference in the taste. When I feel more stressed, I know a more I notice a more uh, bitter taste. Ah. Ah. Awesome. Uh, and I was like, ah, awesome. okay, this is okay. I, I can calm, you know. I, and then, uh, and then I noticed, yeah, that that I perceive my tr the things that were normally triggering me. I perceive them differently. I perceive yes. them more as if I'm watching a movie and okay. I wouldn't get all into the emotions. I am so glad you said that. Okay, let me tell you why I believe this works, okay? I have a different view of the body than most, most people. Yeah. They, they, most people here know that, okay? Yeah. But basically what happens is, is I, don't, I don't believe that human beings were technically meant to eat food. We are addicted to food and we need it commensurately. Yes. That was my fast. But we can't just go from where we are today to not eating okay. food. It's yes. impossible to do that because in our DNA, it's like when I tell you to eat a chicken wing, if you like chicken wings, you start salivating and creating all the hormones. Your body starts producing the bacteria and also the nutrients that it responds to from that. Mm -hmm. So it's something that has to be gradually worked out of our system the same way it was worked in. Yes. But when we, when, we, uh, when we are eating food, what we're doing is we're disrupting a loop. And now the bladder itself is a bladder. It actually is meant to hold water and the bladder will recycle that fluid back into the system if mm. we're not eating. Like when I fasted for 44 days, um, I would urinate probably every, every two or three days. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so the bladder was recycling the water back in because what happens is you build up all this water, it rushes through your system, you put, your body builds hormones that are healing or for production in that water. And then if it has an excess of water, it flushes it out because it can't, because it can't process it. Mm -hmm. So what it does normally is stores it in the bladder and then recycles it. Mm -hmm. But we're not mm -hmm. used to this because we keep drinking so much fluid that our body pushes it out. So it's kind so of like a camel is, almost. It, it's exactly like a camel. 
Yeah. <laughs> like my brain yeah, doing you, this you, little, oh, yeah, hey, I, mean, I can print this when I was how little. Camel works. So yeah. it's exactly like a camel. So what happens is it's it the water stores and then recycles. And this is why when I did my two week uh, dry fast, I was able to not fast for two weeks because the water is recycling itself. Mm -hmm. and, and and guys, this isn't my opinion. NASA mm -hmm. studied two people and, and who had not eaten in, one guy had not eaten in 70 years and at all. And they verified that he actually gets his energy from the sun. They verified, they watched in the bladder with MRIs showing that the water was recycling. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you build up all these hormones to deal with your environment mm -hmm. at nighttime mm -hmm. to like heal. Then what happens is the excess water goes into the bladder. If we don't, if it doesn't have time to recycle, then when we, then when we need to have that same healing again, I eat again or something like that, it has to rebuild all those hormones. Well, hormones, building the hormones is what takes the energy. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense now? Yeah, so, it does. Yeah. So what happens is if, if I put those hormones back, the stem cells and the hormone like a homeopathic or a Bach remedy, if, mm -hmm. I, if I ingest it back in, then my body automatically starts producing them again. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's the building blocks or the commands for those yes. hormones. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, okay. if you guys are, are asking about the name of the guy in NASA, here's what you do. Go into Mighty Networks. Actually, and I'll tell you we're moving out of there. But go into Net Mighty Networks right now and type in sun gazing. And there's an article that will come up. And we name the guy that NASA studied. And you can go research him. And there's another one too, but that, that was really quick. I just don't have his name right here. But you can go into our Mighty Networks and, and type in sun gazing. And then we talk about why sun's good for you. And then NASA actually, they, he says, uh, NASA studied this guy. He surrendered himself for testing. Wow. So they tested him for several months, three months, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's really interesting too, like going back to a memory of my childhood. I actually, we met a family that was breatharian. Yeah. And uh, the child, they, I mean, they almost ate nothing at all. And the woman was pregnant at one point. I remember everybody, like, I asked my mom about it. My mom was always very much into fasting and ve uh, vegetarianism and all of that as I was growing up. Um, but, and then growing up around fasting and fasting for religious purposes, I did that. And then later on, I stopped doing that and I started did some fasting for in Indonesia it's called the white fast and it's a it's a fast where you make an intention for something and you fast three days nine days you make it a, a, it's a multiple of three um, of three however many days you're gonna do you make the intention beforehand and this is so that something will happen and I at the time I was trying to deal with the anger towards my brother and my father Anytime I would hear their name, it would just like create this wave of anger within me. And I realized that this person who was telling me about this said everything that I was feeling without my saying anything. I hadn't told anyone that. And it just made me like emotional. And then I asked him, you know, okay, what do you suggest? And he said, do this fast. And I did it the first time, three days, I didn't feel anything. And he said, and you'll probably initially lose, lose weight. The, the thing is you start the fast. It's, it's like from sunrise to sunset, not eating anything. And then you, when you break your fast and in the in-between days, you only eat white rice, but it has no salt, no oil, nothing. And the first day you eat, eat like this big bowl, but then after a while you like stop wanting it and then you're just kind of going. And I did it three times. By the time I did the third time, I began to... I witnessed this interaction between my brother and I. He came to me and recommending something that I changed something, something with fashion and whatever. And it didn't make me angry. I just felt like, whoa, I felt like a duck. You pour water on a duck and the water just glides no, off. It didn't soak in. Three days, uh, white fast, did you do it three days? Then oh, I had someone. Did you do it three days and then a week later do it three days or do you do it three days, three days, nine days? Uh, uh, I did three days, and then maybe the next week I chose to do six days, and then after that I still didn't feed on anything, and then I did a whole nine days. Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, so just kind of getting in my head how you do it because yeah. I wanted to comment something that the human perception cycle is three days. That's mm. why when you get locked up for a psychotic, a psychotic hold, that's why they hold you for three mm. days. Because mm. if you have a psychotic episode, um, some it's 
it's perfectly normal for somebody to have a psychotic episode and then be okay three days later. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. And the other part too is that we were talking earlier about your 29 degree Sagittarius, which Sagittarius no, is the not teacher Sagittarius, and the, Aquarius. Oh, sorry, Aquarius. I mean, so 29 degrees Aquarius, um, which their 29 is in your emotions. That means your emotions are going to be tested. So it makes sense that your father and your brother had this emotional trigger for you. Because, yes. Because, because that becomes your superpower later on in life, mm. your ability to withstand mm. the emotion and to actually mm. stand there and let emotions come at you. Like somebody could probably, I don't know you that well, but I, could, I can imagine if someone's yelling at you, you could probably take it without having the reaction and then move through it. Yes, I, I definitely can now. I, I couldn't always, but now it's like, as long as, yeah, as long as I can, uh, yeah, I can totally put that, that barrier there. Yeah. So, so this is it. So it's interesting. So, so let's carry on with the story. So you did it, <clears throat> you did three, six, and nine. Yes. And, and then, then on the eighth day, I felt that my brother said something to me that normally would put me in like a tailspin of like, anger and triggers and you know because it was just like he didn't know about fashion and he's gonna come tell me what i you know kind of thing it just was all of the details and someone actually said to me like you're, you're giving your power <laughs> like why do you care you know and i couldn't but i couldn't get out of it and with that fast uh, uh, suddenly i just felt this wow like the life, everything around me just went peaceful. So eight is a very important number. It's Capricorn and it's Saturn, it's karmic. And it's also, it's about decisions. So I make a decision to act differently in the world on the eighth day and any, and any committed practice on the eighth day is when I'm making a decision to act differently than the way I did. Because karma is stuff that comes at you um, to rebalance my reaction to it is what Capricorn is. <clears throat> okay. Well, so this is interesting because with this fast, there's actually a number of the other fasts, and I don't remember all of them, but this was the three, six, uh, is, is nine, this a, twelve. Is this, a, is this an Indonesian thing? Yes. Okay. It's so an they, Indonesian so thing. And, yes. And the thing is, it's actually my brother studied it and when you go to Jakarta I actually talked to him he's the one who wanted to send you the song which I haven't quite figured out how to get it to you yet but um, he studied it and it's like it comes back to the numbers as well it's not astrology it's a it's an Indonesian system but they have different fasts that you have to do to get through it as well those numbers um, my mother just will coordinate to exactly the same numbers I but, like the 21 yeah. day yeah for uh they have a vegan 21 day fast and then after that it's a 30 day fast where you fast one day you know you fast 24 hours and then the next day you're not fasting for 24 hours and you do that for 30 days yeah. it's quite interesting and i yeah, see they, how it's all the same they, so basically the body is a fluid adaptive biological computing system and it takes input and then generates an output based on the input so one mm -hmm. of the inputs we have is food <laughs> Another input yes. we have is is interactions with people in nature. Another mm -hmm. input is is uh, interactions we have like with media or content and stuff like that. These are all things. Yeah. So fasting from anything for for three days or more changes your perception. This is why when you go away to a lot of workshops and conventions and stuff like that, they'll like they'll do a three day away or a retreat or take your phones off or something like that because every Every time you and and another another way that culture does this, I think they do this in in Turkey. They do moles mm -hmm. there. They so, do what? Mole. Maybe I'm food not mole, sure. Food mole, like a food. And so what they do often with foods, um, and I I don't a lot of cultures do this. I knew they do this in some Spanish and Latin cultures. Now, what they do is they take the recipe and they also do this with sourdough. But what they do is they take the recipe. And they take, uh, as they eat, they take a little bit of the, they take a little bit out and they bring that back into, and they make the next batch the mm. next day. Some of these, I went to this place that had been doing this for like 300 years. Mm. 
Well, well, yeah. And, yeah. and yes, what that does that is too. it carries the information of that time to into this. the next day. Yeah. So one it's, of the ways this that comes back to the urine therapy too. Yeah. Which I was so one doing of the ways to point. to affect the human biological computer is to take food. And if you take a piece of your food each day that you cook and you bring it back into your meal the next day, mm -hmm. what that does mm -hmm. is again, your body goes back and it memorizes the inputs that it needs. So it doesn't have to mm -hmm. work as hard. So it yeah. gives you more perception. And the one thing that you said is you feel like you can observe yourself. Well, yes. what that is, is, is that if I'm ingesting in, pushing out, ingesting in, pushing out. So what happens is that's stressful for my body because mm -hmm. I have to rebuild yes. everything every time. Yes. If I loop it, I use less energy to do the same thing. Yeah. If I yes. eat the same thing, I use yes. less energy because I use less hormones. Yes. And then, and then it, and so what happens is when I am not stressed, I naturally take my perception and move it out here. I observe myself. Mm. Yes, yes. I had an experience so, when I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and I said to my sister, I was like, my sister owned a, back in the 70s, a roller skating rink. And, mm. and you know, back then you danced to disco, you skated disco, and we were roller skating. And I had this, I, I had this perception that this, it was like a, I, the way I related it, like a video game. It was like there was a controller controlling it, controlling mm. my body. Yeah. That was the first, first time that I was aware Wow. And I could actually perceive something in my field because my life up until that point had been so stressful. I'd never had that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And That's so, so this is wow. why urine therapy, why it, I mean, it does a number of things outside of the physical things It like raw earth. He, what he did was he did a three day urine fast and he just mm. a crazy high. He was like, he's like he, at the end of it, the body is because it has, is using zero energy. Mm to reproduce mm. and to heal itself yeah. because he wasn't doing anything else but urine is looping for three days. And so, so what happens is he's at this highest state of awareness because basically food uses 80% of our energy to digest, process, and eliminate. Yeah. So if you take for three days a perception cycle and you take that, that completely away and you, so you have a complete loop for three days, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. what happens is you go up to your highest state of awareness with without any power draw because because food it, it takes away my yes. perception my bail because when that my power goes down yes. i see less hear less feel less i have to work harder to do yes. everything yes wow. wow okay so i also have a question i did uh recently i did a three-day fast or i started to do it i didn't actually i got to two and a half days and um I know where, so because I have many people that I help, so I had someone who, whose family member had taken Xanax and it had had, it had been laced. And so they were oh, put yeah. in a with, coma. With fentanyl. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so they were in a coma and the family was, and so anyway, not to get into the details of that, I was on my uh, two and a half day of fasting and like because uh, i it used a lot of physical energy to help this person like lift them up and like okay you know you're safe and everything's fine and things happen and we're here for the experience but i found that after that like my body went into this panic state and was just like uh-uh we're finished and being someone who has been through a lot um when i was uh younger and with little and i've done a lot of fasting i know how to push my way through things i'm, I'm really yeah. good at pushing myself so i've been reprogramming myself to okay 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 that you don't feel like doing that i just back off a little bit and i'm like okay like redoing the foundation i think a lot of people have to push themselves to get to the the other side but i feel like for me i've always pushed myself so hard that now i'm starting to like go okay um so i would like to know like if what you would have recommend what you so, not necessarily so the reason recommend. why you want to eat is to resolve emotions okay yeah. i mean because so if i had done you, extra you already know how to fast so the emotions well up and your body what what food is it's a drug yeah. And yeah, it, yeah. And it goes in there. And so that's 
so the 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 way through it in that situation um and sometimes it sometimes it just sometimes it's not worth pushing through it but i mean you're it, you're you're close so the way through it you're probably at the end of it you're being exasperated in all your emotions one of the ways to do it is to do a stress reset right okay, you cut out, stress, but, yeah yeah one of the ways to do it is to is to is to do fascial maneuvers like yeah. like do a couple rounds of it and hydrate your body but somebody actually said something i want to comment to i'm confused the nutrition guy i'm not sure who that is said we shouldn't eat the same thing conti uh, continuously and I, I actually agree with i agree with the statement what i was talking about was when they bring a mole um or for example they take a piece of it for sauce that they use that they repeat that's actually you may not eat that every day but this is a restaurant who's been doing it for like 300 years. <clears throat> so when you eat it, you collect part of the information that was used to create that 300 years ago, signaling. That's what I was referring to. The other thing too is, if you eat the same type of thing in a limited, in a limited fashion for a number of days, it's like, it's the same thing as taking a medication or it's the same thing as doing a workout every day for three days. It, what it does is it offsets the normal rhythm of your body, so your body has to work around it. Now, that's how we actually get contrast or growth. If I do the same thing every day for years, and this is where people run into problems, they eat the same food, everything the same every day for years and years and years. Their body stops responding, it stops building new awareness in the environment. So what happens is they become less and less adaptive because food um, and the culture of food and the bacteria helps us adapt to the world. Like, for example, when we bring people to Mexico, what we do is take local honey when they get here and we give them a spoon of local honey the first day they get here. Mm. What does that do? 99% of the time, they don't get sick, you know, like the, the stomach aches and Montezuma revenge or whatever you call it. Yeah. Because they got all the information from the local plants here because the bees pollinate, so they eat it, so they get all the information, which is part of the bacterial or the local biome. So these, my father so, had us do that with onions. Onions is a way to do it too. It's <clears throat> it's things that are things that are grown. It's just that um, the the honey is the best if you can mm -hmm. get it because it's from the flowers yeah. and the soil. Wow, so it yeah, also yeah. has the yeah. So it's a pollination. Mm -hmm. And you know, honey is interesting because it's you know, honey can be a thousand years old. It doesn't go bad. It's the only yeah, yeah. it's the only food source on the planet that does not uh deteriorate when we were uh when i was practicing midwifery we would recommend after uh giving birth to put it on the pad and put it on the um the perineum <clears throat> because bacteria it doesn't have bacteria as well bacteria can't grow in it yeah yeah it, it's i mean uh manuka honey is like um if you get a high grade manuka honey it's the in the um uh in the european or sorry the the british medical journal <clears throat> um <clears throat> they have a they have a, a famous study they took seven people with mrsa um resistant back re resistant bacterial st strain that were they've tried everything else for every everything they were going to die they took seven mm -hmm. people they put they finally at the end they Orally and topically put manuka honey on them, all seven lips. It was like wow. end of life, life, last thing, and they published it in, in the British uh, Journal of Medicine. And mm. uh, so you don't normally see a lot of pub, like real medicine publishes like yeah. that, but that is, that's one of them. Wow. Okay. And, and so like manuka honey is super good. Like uh, it's the best in the world for healing. Um, and it's different from healing honey and local honey. So manuka honey, uh, you can get like a UHF and they have different scales. They have three different scales. I think now I, there's two before and they've got a combined one, but, uh, like I use a UHF 20 that, that costs about 80 to a hundred dollars American for a little mm -hmm. drug. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. that one there, when I had, I had an infection in my mouth, uh, in 2010 that I took four rounds of antibiotics, couldn't break the infection. <laughs> and the dentist actually said, you need to go to an infectious disease specialist. Wow. And so I'm wow. like, I'm done. Like, there's no way <laughs> no. I'm going for more of this. So I went and I started oil pulling three times a day and then putting manuka honey on it. Second day, it literally wow. burst, all the pus burst out of my mouth and went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, that, that's inspiring. Good to, good to hear again as well. Because, yeah, wow. So, so you, you, so a couple things. You, you've been through the 28 day reset. And, and I, I'm I actually really enjoyed still it. toward the end of it. Actually, because okay. the thing was, when I started, um, and it's really uh, wonderful to hear that you have a new app, because I had been putting energy to that. Because I was like, okay, I love this reset. But the thing that got me is the podcasts were so yeah. long. And yeah. like I, you saw, I was focused on the maneuvers and like mm. to stop because I didn't have like uh, the sound system to actually do them at the same time. Yeah. So I would end up doing the maneuvers. Um, yeah. So it, yeah, yeah, it was just like... It, it ended up kind of being a pause, but then you guys have this new app, which I'm very excited about. Um, I didn't know about actually your app in 2020. Um, I had looked for you guys' uh, workshops and actually told my mother and everything about it, but I had made a promise to myself in 2020 that I would not pay for anything learning because every time I was doing it, I was paying for something and realizing I already knew it. Not to say that I was knowing, like all knowing, but it was just like, okay, I need to go inward. And when I went to your course originally, it was, it was when it was still had a fee. And then suddenly now it's like, I'm so just, that's, that's, my yeah, mother's That's a really start. good point because we started off, like we had to find a way to get here. Mm -hmm. So we started mm -hmm. off um, charging for the <clears throat> lifestyle artist program. <clears throat> and then we wanted it to be free we want it to be worldwide and free so so that's when we brought in the supplements and so first of all we went to uh, pay as you can go yeah. so donation only now that that worked for a bit and then it stopped working and as it stopped working because we had more people that couldn't pay mm -hmm. and then but we still had infrastructure and people and stuff to run like it, it, it it's free but it's not free yes exactly like, yeah, yeah. Like, like somebody still has to show up uh, lights have to be on, people have to live, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So what we did was we brought out the supplements as a part of answering a question because people couldn't get consistency. Yes. That then started to fund us again with donations that was enough. Now now the, now the what's happening is, and somebody asked about the new app, um, so now what it is is that we're now, we've been testing for 18 months with this. We've had 100,000 people through it. And what we're going to be doing now is opening up so we actually have the new app we will we're not on the app store yet it takes about two months for us to get listed on the store okay i was gonna ask so, about that okay so well uh, but right mm -hmm. now you can go to our website and you can start the 28 day reset or start our courses and then you get put into the new app that's the only way to do it right now but i think we'll have it i think it's already up on our our bio if it's not there it should yes, be right away and then, and then you can go in. And the cool thing about this is it will remind you, it will help you, it gives notifications to the phone. When you finish your program, it gives you a badge. Yeah. So I know who you are. Yes, yeah. And so, yes. because cause a lot of times people, they come up and they're giving advice and it's like, you know, they're sounding like they're, like they know everything about this. And I, I've looked at it and I'm, I've had to sometimes, who is this person? Where'd they come from? And it's like, have you done any, and then I ask him, have you done any of the resets? No, I haven't started yet. Well, mm -hmm. then honestly, stop giving advice. Yes, I don't. I don't want your advice if you haven't done what we do. If if your advice is working, I, that all that, you know, pit, yeah. opinions they're like armpits. Everybody has two of them, yes. and they both stink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my so, mother has started the program as well. She's on day one reset. So go in there. I, and I got her we're into the new app. Global, we're going to do a global reset and the new the new format is this is instead of an hour hour and a half podcast it's like 15 minutes of the content we wanted to see but what we've done is put a whole bunch of new content the classes are all different mm -hmm. so every class mm -hmm. is different it's not the same video mm -hmm. you're actually doing a different class That's with awesome. different instructor um, it's ones that we've done talking about different points that are important to know how it all works yes and we answer all the questions like spinal pelvic lock and why and how to hold it and stuff like that so it's it the the new 28 day reset is condensed so that you can do it in like 35 minutes 40 minutes mm -hmm. a day max yes and, and you can get through it and it's more movement
Yes. And, and this is what, I mean, the way, the reason why it was that way is because we needed to get it up. And again, we, yeah. don't, have a, we don't have a team of like 50 people working. So uh, it was yeah. like, get it up, get it out, let it work. Well, and then it's we'll still it. awesome too. Like yeah. I want to finish yeah. the, the 28 in the Mighty apps as well as uh, do it because also I can say this. Um, the, the watching the changes in the three of you, yeah, is so inspiring. Like, like I've had some people that I've recommended, and your first videos, your sense of humor has even changed. It's very interesting <laughs> to witness that because yeah, I also yeah, I was, see my I, brothers. I was, I was still angry at the system when I when I started. I'm still angry yeah. at the governments and the system. I'm not anymore. Yeah. No, and you can feel that and i so that's why I, like i told some people who are like uh and i'm like i know the first few videos it's like okay you know because if you if you've already like worked through a lot of things yourself but not necessarily gotten through to the other side like if there's still triggers things that can easily trigger but it's so amazing to watch the the huge changes it's not just a physical it's an energetic change yeah. um which yeah. yeah because we we look at it's uh, what i find is is people have these programs and over time what they do is they give you the refined version of the program mm -hmm. but what people are looking for is they want to duplicate what you did yes. so if they don't if they, they don't know your struggles yeah. and the journey okay. that you really went through then it, and this is where all these programs these masters and leadership programs and mastery courses they they take out the imp the struggle and the people are measuring themselves against this completeness. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it, I can show up, I can do this. Every, I mean, I do do this every day and there's no issues because I'm not, it, it, I'm not getting, I'm not working trauma out of my body every day. Like I was four years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah. And that being said, that's part of like today, I'm not exactly like being a Libra, like, I'm usually very much about looking perfect and like I have that side to me and over these past months, but every time I get on a call, it's been interesting because it's like, that's the time when I feel least prepared, so to speak, but it's me showing up authentically. And You're just showing like, up today on a Pisces day. Today is, today, is a, today is step seven. So today, by the way, there is no coincidences. Absolutely. Every person that you talk to everything that you do today there's a deeper meeting behind it yeah absolutely absolutely wow so so um i'd be great to it would be great to see i you know it because uh it'd be great to see you go through the 28 day reset which is starts for everybody here it starts between the first and the fourth after the fourth if you sign up you're gonna you, the next time you can do it is on january 1st and so what happens is it starts uh, on the fourth and then they go through the one day, the three day, the seven day together, and then to the 28 day. So it gives people the other thing, it, it, there's a couple of things that happen. Right now people start whenever, but when you have a group of like a thousand people or 10,000 people going through it at the same time, they yes. go through the same relative experiences the same time. Yes, because also of the astrology as well right yeah i think uh, lisa said february 1st yes right after Fe yes i was gonna say that too. yeah february 1st yes yes <coughs> yeah wow so yeah so the, oh, yeah. the idea is is that um <clears throat> people are going through they're going through the the, the resets at the same time um <clears throat> and so what i mean by going through the resets at the same time is when people are on day seven of mm -hmm. the reset uh, of, of the 28th day, um, they're going to have a very similar type of response because of just like your white fast you were talking about earlier, each day of that white fast means something. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, each day of the reset does mean something. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. So wow. you're, you're yeah. going to have to do it. You're, you know what? Um, this would be great for you to do it. Um, we're doing it too. What we're going to do, we haven't announced it to everybody yet. We're going to, once a week, we're going to show up. And right now there's community classes you can go to every day. 
where mm -hmm. if you want to move with other people, you can move with other people, ask questions. You can get, okay. uh, if you're dealing with a trauma, you can get that. And those happen every single day right now with our coaches and mentors and, uh, and facilitators. And what's going to happen is once a week for four weeks on this one reset only, um, we are going to show up and do a class once a week for four weeks and answer questions and stuff like that. And that's all going to be a part of the reset. Uh, there's going to, it's going to be, yeah, through the app. Okay. okay. So, wow. and, and we have a limitation. Um, we have a limitation because of our account. I think we're limited to like, like 2,500 people. Okay. So if, so it's, it, it, we will have a, there's a possibility not everybody's going to be able to get into the class, but, but part of it is, is that this is a big deal. We want to be there. We want to be there with you through everybody who wants to go through this. We're going to help yeah. them personally go through the 28 day. And we're also doing our own reset during that period of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Everybody's asking. Right. asking so the group reset starts, you go to our website, the, <clears throat> you sign up for the uh, app again. So if you go to our website, it changed two days ago. When you go to the main website, it says join our community. So everything is really about the community because once you get in that community, if you don't want to do stuff and the resets and all that, stay on Instagram, stay on YouTube, that's great. But if you want to interact with people, get more feedback, more advice and learn, that's where the community starts. You can join the community. And <clears throat> the other place about it is that it's still free to everybody, but we have so many people that want to contribute. We didn't have a mechanism for them to easily do it. Mm. So you can, you, can, you can be a contributor at different levels if you want, and that helps us fund the mission, which mm. again, allows us to do more things for the people who are working and who are, who are doing stuff. Because like, like, for example, like you get somebody like Coach Ikwe, right? Well, she's in there every day pounding it out answering questions helping doing classes for free and all this so when we have a retreat we pay for her retreat she everything is is that's the kind of thing that we can do to reward people and it's and it's even better because even if i send somebody in america money to do something that i gotta pay tax on it they gotta pay tax on it but if i give you something then yeah yes. your uncle yeah 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 absolutely so, yes. Yeah. So um so listen, um I'd like to see you go through the reset. <clears throat> yeah. And then give us give us your feedback because you're really good at it mm -hmm. on what you notice is different. Why don't you be like a reporter? <clears throat> okay. Say day number one. Here's what I like about it. Change this, change that, yeah. and then uh and then we can post some of that. Okay, okay, yes. Thank you for the the uh encouragement. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I look forward to actually meeting you in person sometime soon. Yes. One last question. Okay. I just wanted to ask, uh, as far as Arda goes, I'll contact you through Human Garage. Uh, um, yeah. Um, it's. Um, I was just talking about this today. I'm actually. Yeah, you can still get to me for a little bit through there. Um, the volume of the volume of requests exactly. has gotten to an insane level. So we're okay. actually going to set up in our lifestyle artist community. A separate way that they can communicate with me perfect because That's right now even my even my personal social media the one that i tried to be private it's all jammed so uh, I so imagine. i so it's like <laughs> and you know it's like i wanted to talk to my friends or my family i have to make it and if i make it private then i get a thousand requests yeah. so yeah. it's like i can't even see yeah so. yeah, yeah i i understand the overload that's why i figured i'd ask here um but i can also reach out to arda maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, reach out to Arda, um, and but you can get to me. Like, just right now, you can still get to me. Okay. It'll, it'll still get to me. Just say a uh, question for Gary. It'll okay. still get to me. But I'm just letting everybody else know who hears this that, for the most part, um, um, if you, and what we do is we have a team of people that have been taking my answers. People may think that their question is unique, but. Yes. We all have the same bodies. After a while, they're no longer unique. So I've been answering, answer, asking, or answering questions for a couple of years. So we're yeah. taking all that data, we're putting it together into short little pieces of information and guides, and we're making a knowledge base on the website right now. So, so you'll still get you'll still get the same answers, and you'll get quicker responses. Because if I had to answer it all, yeah, like I mean, we're getting we're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of messages every week right now. So.
Yes, yes, I can totally imagine. Well, thank you. Talk to you soon, Thanks Shelf. Still bye. showing up. <laughs> All right. Have a great okay, bye bye. <laughs> and I love. Hey, Zore, how are you doing? Zore, we use guys. Uh, Zoe is over in the UK. She's on the artist program. Has been a while. Flow mechanic, how you doing? For the rest of you, have to do is sign up. Yeah. Um, for the rest, all of you need to do. Yeah, just be signed up to get into the group reset. The group reset's going to be powerful. We're all doing it on the same day. We're going to show up once a week for the first four weeks only. This is the only time we'll ever do this. And um, so we're going to be working with people and going through it with you. My belief is the way it works is that my energy contributes with your energy. We work together. So my frequency, our frequency is in with you guys and, um, and it, and it has a more in depth layer. So if you're, if you've been do if you've done the 28 day reset, I would do it again. If you haven't done it, um, this is your time to do it. Any thought on Night sweats, yeah, night sweats, bodies detoxing, um, minerals and fascial maneuvers, 28 day reset. Those night sweats will go away, but it's actually, it's actually a good thing. It means that night sweats, by the way, it's usually your gallbladder, your liver, <clears throat> uh, your large intestine and your lungs are, <clears throat> so, it's, so it's grief, anger and resentment are the emotions that are predominantly there and uh, people, but I don't have any, Resentment. Yeah, well, your body has resentment because you've been putting chemicals in it so long that your liver's overworked. And your body is grieving because you've been beating it up. <clears throat> the name of the new app, it's, uh, it's just called Circle App, but you just join our community. Go to our website, humangarage.net, join our community, and join us for the group reset. And guys, we also have a class on the 31st. So we have a, we have a new year setting intention class. If you haven't done it yet, get into the new year's class. What we're going to be doing is helping you get ready. People go to, they wait till New Year's Eve to set their intentions. No, set your intentions the day before, act on your intentions New Year's Day. <clears throat> and there's, it's, it's, if you listen to Astro Monday last week and the week before, you'll know why New Year's Day is important. Because New Year's Day, I believe, is, um, I think we're seven right now. So tomorrow is eight. Saturday, things are going to change for everybody. Nine and 10. Yeah, New Year's Day. Oh, New Year's Day is manifest in Capricorn. That's what it was. It is the biggest manifest day. You don't want to be thinking about what you're going to do this next year on New Year's Day. You want to be already taking that first step and acting through. New Year's Eve is step nine is, and this is why we're doing it on New Year's Eve. Nine is Aries action and leadership. It's I act, I am day. And that's what we're doing. It's uh, uh, we're doing it on step nine day, and then you manifest on New Year's Day. So we'll see you guys there. If you haven't done it yet, sign up. Um, you know, and I got this question too, guys. When you sign up for for that course, uh, or sorry, for those classes, that's part of the way that we fund ourselves. So if you're able to do that, but I had somebody the other day. It's like I just don't. They're in a they they're in a country. They don't have the money. Like literally, that's that's like that's like a month's salary. Just let us know. I mean. This isn't a money making machine. We're not here to make money. We're here to get the information out. And there's a balance like we do. We still have to pay bills and pay, and pay for travel and pay for equipment and storage. I mean, just to do the app and all that, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get the app and the storage and the equipment and the bandwidth and the support for it and stuff like that. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's how we do it. By the way, we have we have uh, on menopause. We have, um, I've had uh, over a hundred people directly to me uh, and there's more that have reported in women in their late fifties and sixties uh, getting their cycle again. I believe that, I don't believe that we were supposed to have menopause. I believe that that was actually artificially induced. We've been taught, taught about it. I don't necessarily, I can't correspond it with things that I find written in history. I have a narrative by medicine that says it is, but when you talk to I, I, I have seen um, I have seen um, personal journals of women that were brought to me in their 80s and 90s having having menstrual cycles, um, at, uh, just a little over 100 years ago in their personal diaries talking about it. So, I just believe that we've been sold a bill of good. I believe and it and it and I believe that it shouldn't be there. 
Um, and what it is, it's, it's about stress. And you can see this because as stress and dysfunction has, has driven uh, up, we now are having women in their mid thirties going into premenopause or into menopause. I have, I, in the clinic, I had so many young women in their mid to late thirties being forced into menopause. And I'm like, so what is it? So what do you mean? I thought it was at a time or an age point. No, it's at a stress point. That means that their stress levels in their body have built up. It's wear and tear. Okay. Ideas on fi fibroids. Um, okay. Most people on fibroids, uh, if you have fibroids, most people can clear the fibroids. What we've had is we've had people, and we're talking thousands and thousands of people that have, have cured fibroids, uh, fibroids, cysts, nodules. We just put up a, uh, an Instagram story um, about uh, Jennifer Morgan, who, who uh, completely cleared her, her nodules on her thyroid after a decade and has medical evidence. She holds it up. And we have a lot of that stuff. So again, it's about hydration. It's getting your body hydrated. Diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss. I would take boron and I would get the uh, power kirk. The reason why the power kirk work, works so well is power kirk itself it goes into, it It deals with a heat shock protein called MSK1. It goes into the cell and turns inflammation off inside the cell of your connective tissue. Connective tissue is what makes up every organ, every bone, every lymph node, every gland, and your skin is all made up of connective tissue. This is connective tissue. This is connective tissue. <clears throat> is it normal? to start smelling a little clean eater no meat for 33 is it normal to smell okay yes stacy um emotions have a smell now hear me this emotions have a smell so when i was at the clinic we would be two hour sessions and i was physically working on somebody on a table down there sometimes head right down and I'd be doing that 12, 13 hours a day. So I noticed I would help people. Before I understood this, I'd go, people are like, they're going, ah, I have the elbow in their knee. And they're like, ah, screaming because of the pain. Because we used to bring the body to a level seven pain to release it. Kind of like a raw thing. That's, that's kind of what it was like. <clears throat> Again, it worked. It's not the most effective way. Now we know that. So we would bring them to a seven level pain. And then I would notice that people... They would have, they'd be stuck and it'd be like five minutes holding one place and they wouldn't release. And I said, I would say to them, um, you're having fear. So uh, thank fear for being here. Thank you for being here, fear for being here. Show me what uh, you want me to see. And all of a sudden, poof, it would go away. So I noticed and the way I knew it was fear because I wasn't able to tune into people's bodies like that at that stage. I, the way I knew it was an emotion of fear or sadness or grief is because it smelled different on them. So I noticed that even with people with different body odors, I could notice when that emotion would come up because the body odor is your typical biome. But if you like push your elbow into it and you're creating pain in the body and then they're releasing emotion, you're gonna have a very consistent smell amongst people. So it's normal, uh, Stacy. when I was going through my 44 day fast, it's six weeks, um, once I started we started eating again. And when I say eating, Jason, Cynthia, and I would have the equivalent of, of two appetizers for an entire day. That, that was eating. And that lasted for a while. And as we ate with more people, we started to eat more. But <clears throat> what happened for me is I started releasing a bunch of emotions. And then all of a sudden, I had smell. It smelled like um, it smelled like I had eaten curry. Or it smelled like at some points that I... Um, that I had eaten Chinese food, or it smelled at some points like uh, like fish. And I'm going, what is that smell? Where did that smell come from? And so that I've had stages over my journey over the last four years where I have no order at all. And then I know that I'm about to go through a big transition in my body because I start getting little bits of odor in my body, and then it goes away. Like right now, I'm currently on a no smell. But when Mary got here before, I was just on the ending part of a smelly it's like I, I would talk to somebody and and they release fear and i'm like what's up my butt i smell it on me now and so that's that's part of it oh yeah yeah oh yeah and so i showed mary if you guys want to get rid of 
to the smell um really quickly what you do is take a take a, a used wine and just take and rub it in there the acid kills your odor <laughs> I have a what is that reminder that's why i'll talk that it gets oh reminder. when oh when is that 12 30 like okay yes we have somebody actually we're I'm talking about menopause so funny we have somebody coming up here name is uh, Lisa Salazar. So. Oh yeah, Lisa Salazar, who's been uh, having changes in her cycle coming out and she asked and I asked her if she would be willing to talk about it. So she's coming up. Actually, Lisa, are you in the comments? Let's see here. Her handle is X Lisa's. Okay, what is it? X Lisa's. What is that? EX? I just the letter X and then Lisa with an S on the end. Lisa. There it is. Let's see. I'm going to get you there. <clears throat> What's the name? Hmm? What do you want? The name? Yeah. Okay. Just checking something here. We have a guest coming up here. Yes, Lisa. Okay. So, Lisa, if you're in, the, if you're already here, can you uh, message me in the chat? Just put Lisa says I'm here. I tried diet to make delicious earth and sea moss, then I gained weight. All my hormones are thrown off. Actually, your hormones were rebalancing themselves. They weren't, you're gaining weight. You, you weren't gaining weight. What you're doing is you are releasing toxins. Toxins then, a water comes in and attaches to toxins and then pushes it out. It takes three days. So um, if you go watch the earlier videos of Human Garage, you'll see me, I, got, I went up and I, I got puffy like this. And then I and then I haven't done I have done the same routine and same uh, fascial maneuvers and eaten the same literally for three years. Uh, Lisa says unable to join. And uh, yeah, that if you are getting weight that fast from just taking it, I'm going to tell you. And, and you probably weren't doing fascial maneuvers regularly. Do fascial maneuvers. Start taking your bath. Go through the 28 day reset. Process your emotions because if you're if just taking that caused you to gain weight. There's a lot of there's a lot of toxins and trauma stored in your body, and you need to get it out. Do you believe muscle testing for metals is good? At, guys, it's first of all, it's I I, I don't like the word muscle testing because the muscles aren't doing it. It's your fascia connecting with your sense. And yes, I believe it for everything. I do it for relationship. I do it for emotions. I do it for helping you. You guys, when you 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 sit here and you listen to me in the day and you go. How did he know to ask that question? That's how. Yeah, I use it for everything. Do you want to message her? Which Lisa? The one, the guest? Or? Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Um, so we're going to get Lisa Salazar up here. With morning drink of UT causes liquid diarrhea, normal? Yeah. Okay, two things for about that, Stacey, is make sure you do... Whoops. Make sure you do the psoas release because if this is blocked up, this is blocked up on the psoas release, then it's not going to open. Lisa, uh, this is for our Lisa. Lisa, if she has her account private, stuff like that too. She's she, private. Okay, she's private. She has to unprivate her account, Lisa. Um, can you uh, message her uh, on that? So if so, what happens is. Uh, if people have bowel obstructions or constipation or whatever in the urine therapy, it's going to clear out right away. And there's there's a lot of beliefs of why that is. I have my own. But basically, um, uh, liquid diarrhea, if you're having it constantly, there's probably a dysregulation of the small intestine, um, ileocinchal valve, uh, large intestine valve. So do the psoas release. I would do that if you're going through this process and you have an autoimmune disease or you're going through this process and detoxing. I did that. You know, two or three times a day for probably a year uh, as a normal thing. Every time I ate, I did it just to keep the flow going properly because your intestines are like twisting and torquing and going like that, no specific order, and they're like sausage facing. So it doesn't take much for that valve, if, you know, to get twisted into layers of fascia and then twist open or twist close. <clears throat> okay, I'm here. Lisa Salazar. Can't wait to talk to you. Can you say how much muscle test for your own emotion? Lower back pain. Lower back pain 
can check your bladder and do the lower reset. Okay, okay. trying to bring you up, Lisa. Um, and Lisa Salazar, trying to bring you up. You, if you're not able to do it, the one thing you may have to check is that your Instagram is uh, is upgraded or sorry is updated. And the other thing, if you press go live on your Instagram, it may not have access to your camera or your mic and it won't go live. So you could actually test it by, by uh, trying to go live. And if you go live and it works, then it should work. So we'll check that. I've had issues there prior to my Cairo says always to work on my valve. Yeah, and, and so what happens is in a static world, um, the fascia isn't moving very much we don't have that much movement in our life. We're not like climbing all day long and moving and twisting and like a baby. So things start to get hard and stuck in the layers and each layer is connected to parts of the essential organs. So that's why it's super important to have the hydration in there. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Lisa Salazar, also too, you can uh, request going live and you request going live by pressing the button there, request to join, um, which is this button right there. I think that should work. <clears throat> so uh, Lisa, when you've tried that, just come back in, say I'm here again. <laughs> um, how to lower norepinephrine when it's so high? You immediately do the 15 minutes rest reset, it'll go down. <clears throat> but if it's that high, usually if it's continuing to peak high, it's usually, um, it's usually um, um, dehydration involved and there's usually some sort of tightening or torsion and twisting of the rib cage or shoulder, like one shoulder rolled in. Yes, so, uh, uh, Tana, 76, Tiana, Tan Tanaya, Tanaya, sorry, 76. I'm not good at pronouncing names. Or, sorry, I'm getting better at pronouncing names. <laughs> um, Tanaya, 76, uh, usually it's to do with dehydration and then torquing in your body. So, um, so you can do the upper reset as a way to get out of that. Uh, does one raise hemoglobin really fast? Um, you have to ask that, and Michelle, you have to ask that another way. Kanaya. Okay, let's try this again. When you're back on there, Lisa, just put in there. At least I'm here. I've heard had, had <clears throat> several hard bumps like pebbles, scalp tumors on my head, multiplying the doctor says because of my DNA. What? I've had several hard bumps like pebbles, scalp tumors on my head, and they're multiplying. Doctor says it's because of my DNA. What? It's because of your DNA, you've got bumps on your head that are multiplying right now at this stage in your life. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't even know what to say when you say that. Your DNA, irrespective of what it is, epigenetics, we knew dysregulates genes causes a mutation. But what it goes through here, all the meridians in your head go through there. If you're having bumps or like pebbles in your head, scalp tumors, it's not your DNA, it's stress and chemicals impacting your genes causing a mutation. What you can do is you can get your minerals right, diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss, Get some power curve 30, which blocks um, the heat, uh, works with the heat shock protein MSK1 and blocks NF kappa B, which is known to be a part of this. Do the upper reset, get your hydration, the upper reset, which will open up all the fascia up here. And those will start to go away typically, almost always. The other thing you can do is castor oil, put castor oil in your hair and put it there and leave it on there. And, and you can actually put a, um, put a, a shower cap on there with castor oil and let it heat up a little bit. That is your remedy for that. I cannot believe that you're being told that it's, it's because of your DNA. There, it's something that you can work through. It's fairly normal. People have a few of them here and there and they, uh, and they will go away. <clears throat>
What is it? This is like uh, somebody saying, I have lumps in my head. I'll read the, I'll read the exact thing. I'll read exactly. I have several hard, hard bumps like pebbles, scalp tumors, she's been told, on my head. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> I have several hard bumps like pebbles, scalp tumors on my, on my head. And they're multiplying. The doctor says it's specifically because of my DNA. What is the reason? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's for social media because <laughs> that is crazy. Ah, my God, are you in? Is, is this an? Are you in India? I noticed by your name. Are you in India? Is that a? Is that a North American doctor? Is that an Indian doctor? I, I, I don't. I don't even have a space. I don't even have space for Check your messages. I sent you instructions how to change your settings. Okay. Your DNA is perfect by nature. Yes, it's it's not our DNA. It's the it's the it's not our genes. It's the stress on our genes. You can have a predisposition for anything and not have it, but if you put stress on the body, then that that stressor is what epigenetics what causes it. But what's the greatest cause of stress on the body? Emotions that are dysregulated. So basically, your emotions cause you to be stressed which affects your genes. So why wouldn't we just call it emotional genetics? That's what I call it. We're in the emotional genetics revolution. Does HM have other documentations of indigenous people through resets or any current indigenous people? Oh, it's involved me. Yeah, we have lots of people doing, uh, or indigenous people doing resets, but we don't have, we haven't documented it. That's like, I haven't documented uh, Indians or Chinese people or, to be honest with you, we, I don't want to have that kind of segregation here. There are literally thousands of indigenous people that have done this, but indigenous in all different areas. We have people that are indigenous to Brazil. We've had them up here, indigenous to, uh, to Africa. We've had people that are indigenous to uh, Australia and, and they're doing the resets. Yes. But I, I, I would prefer to just have everybody as human beings. Um, and, and I know that you want to take it into your community. So here's what you can do is you can take in your community and promote that you are indigenous and you're doing this and you want to connect with people as a social group, kind of like the same thing would be like a, like a, like an Aries group or for you, a Sagittarius group, like the same kind of idea. That would be a better way I think to do it. Yeah. Cause we don't, um, we don't ask for people's race or create anything. We do ask for their astrology. Upper torso release, that's upper reset, link on our bio. Hey, Survival Moss, if you guys haven't done it yet, go get your Survival Moss. They have shelf stable, shelf stable Survival Moss. It's what it is, it's freeze dried. We did a podcast um, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago on Wednesday's podcast we with Survival Moss, we talk about how and why the freeze drying and how it works. It's super interesting. It's like, I want to get a freeze dryer now. I am going to get a freeze dryer now. Okay. Um, Lisa Johnson, I read, uh, do you know if uh, Lisa Salazar was able to figure it out? Here. I'm trying it over here. Yeah. Um, there she is. I'll try it again. Survival moss. Got my sea moss. Oh, Alexandra. Oh, you, you're now in the United States. That's why you're able to get it. Uh, um, how do I find the implications of my astrology? You know, if you want to know about your astrology, here's the best way to do it. There's two things I would encourage you to do. I would encourage you to go get a free app called The Pattern. It's based on uh, Arabic, uh, sorry. Right. No, yeah, um, Vedic, Ayurvedic. It's based on Vedic, Vedic astrology, but it talks about, it doesn't really talk about astrology. It talks about your relationship to the world and peoples. It's very good. It helps you understand patterns and cycles and stuff like that and how you relate to everybody. The second thing is go to... Um, uh, go to uh, our our website under our products and partners and look for Serious Joy. Sign up under there. And if you sign up to our portal, um, you can get 
$3.99 for the first month. It will give you uh, your A story, your B story, your soul biography, tell you all this stuff. And you'll be able to figure out through that your own astrology. And it sends you seven messages a day. If you want to keep it, you can keep it. If you don't, you can even get that information just drop off. It will still help you. Okay, Lisa Salazar, can you uh, say hi in the comments one more time? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I, I want you to be up here so badly today. You're like, you're like the, you're, you're like uh, evidence of what we were just talking about, about, and I was just talking about menopause. So just say, I'm here in the comments again, Lisa. <clears throat> what is the vehicle app? Um, it's the Serious Joy app. Is that what you're talking about? The pattern. The pattern. The pattern. Oh, can you give me a finger? <clears throat> Badly need a drink really quick. I don't know why. Chris Salva. I had a piece of 19. She goes, I can feel Lisa. <laughs> yeah. I know Lisa, you're trying to get on. We love you. Thank you so much for wanting to share. <clears throat> uh, light sleep noise to disturb you. Uh, probably not getting into REM sleep. Uh, it means your body's probably in stress. help with one menopause hair suddenly falling out okay uh if you have menopause but your hair suddenly falling out that's not menopause okay that is an autoimmune symptom um we actually you can go to our website right now and under guides you can down, download the autoimmune guide which is just we did an autoimmune workshop tell you what supplements to take and tell you recommend some of the things that you can do to help that out okay virginia Virginia, you're asking about 25 pieces of the mass times in the reset. If you were to take it in a scoop, Virginia, it'd just be one scoop like you're putting in a smoothie. They're really, really small. That's why it is. <clears throat> the reason what it's doing is that as you're using diatomaceous earth, it's scouring the walls of your small intestines and exfoliating it. Instead of that going back into your system and you absorbing it, you put a high dose of prolytic enzymes in there that have a seek and destroy enzyme. What well, it does it, it eats it up. If you want to check it out, go to biooptimizers.com uh, and look at their um, look at their enzymes. They have a they take a and show you a steak, a little six ounce piece of steak put in a in a in a clear glass bowl full of water. They put saran wrap over it and they put it at 100 degrees with two enzymes in it. They leave it for um, they leave it for two days, 48 hours, and they show it the time lapse so you can see it and speed it along. And what you'll see is at the end of 48 hours, there's no steak. There's only clear water in the glass. There's nothing else. The enzymes eat it, completely absorbing it. So that's why uh, you want to take that because as you're knocking all that stuff off your intestinal walls from doing the maneuvers, opening it up, if you don't have some enzymes to clear it up, you're just going to have a little bit more toxins to deal with. Guys, <clears throat> thyroid issues, T3, T4 conversation issues. The reason you have T3, T4 uh, issues is number one, you, uh, my opinion and my experience after literally hundreds of thousands of people is that you have elevated stress in your body. Your stress hormones are going too much. That's usually caused by a series of, of things. Number one is holding emotions, what happens and dehydration. If you're dehydrated, you're going to hold more emotions and be stressed out. You're going to have elevated hormones. And if you have elevated hormones and you're dehydrated, you're going to start to dysregulate your thyroid because your body has to work too hard to produce adrenaline to do everything in your process. Also, if your small intestines aren't working properly, you're not able to grab the nutrients out. And then your body has to work harder using stress in order to process its daily functions. This will dysregulate your, your thyroid really quickly. That's why diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss, and if you can do it, the Power Kirk 30, the combination together with the lower reset and the barefoot sprinter routine, 
those combinations alone will take and put your body back in a place where it can function. And I would take one step further and go the whole 28 day reset because you've got bigger issues than just your thyroid. The pattern app, um, it actually looks like a white logo with just a wave, I think. It's all mineral imbalances. Get your minerals up, your, thi your thyroid's gonna go back in. Hormones, min elements allow hor uh, minerals to work. Minerals allow water to function and process so that hormones can fire properly. If you have anything broken in that chain, so it's your elements like silica and selenium, they have to be present in proper, um, proper ratios in order for you to absorb the minerals. Then you absorb the minerals. Minerals are what help your body process water and hormones. So if you are missing one of the elements, you're not gonna process the hormones right. If you're missing one of the minerals, you're not gonna process hormones right. Too many people are trying to solve a hormone issue with hormones rather than fixing the reason why it wasn't there in the first part, which is mineral deficiency and dehydration. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try you again, Alicia. Wow. All of a sudden, like a hundred people asked to join. Okay, we're gonna try it again, Lisa. If not, love you too, Stacy. <clears throat> mom's book. Stacy's mom wrote a book. She says she couldn't go public. Oh, wonder why that is. How does this person know? Um, so Stacy, uh, Stacy, I guess we probably have to do it on another day, but and I really do want to talk to you, even if you have to get on somebody else's phone. Um, but the, what you do is you go to the, um, <clears throat> what you do is you go to the, um, you go to your Instagram, click the plus button. Then it says, you know, story post, it goes all the way to live. If you hit live, it'll tell you what's, what needs to be fixed or it will fix it for you. Um, uh, stuff Mary does. I love that name, by the way. Stuff Mary does. Um, the RA. Okay, Lisa, I guess we're going to have to do it another way. <clears throat> Our Lisa will reach out to you, but I, I really want to have this conversation. And, and Lisa, if we can't have it on Instagram, I want to have it on Zoom with you and then, and then we'll post it. Um, it's, it's super important um, because what you want to say and the connections that you want to make and help other women that are going through it, it's super, super important. So either way, it'll be here or it'll be on Zoom and we'll record it and cut it up. <clears throat> the RA protocol for Power Kirk. If you just go to the autoimmune protocol that's on our website right now, go to our website. We've, uh, we've got new guides. So there's an autoimmune guide and we've got a new cleaning environment guide. So we've got a whole bunch of new guides. Go to our website and you'll find them there and you'll find out the RA protocol for Power Kirk. And you can take more Power Kirk, by the way. Uh, she's having technical issues. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, we're missing you here. Lisa's uh, somewhere in the middle of America. Somewhere in the middle of America. Hi, Sony, Sony. So are you guys all going to go do the, um, uh, if you're going to go do the new reset with us, uh, type in the comments, I'm in. I'm curious to know. So if you're about to go do the worldwide reset starting on January, between the 1st and the 4th to register, we start on the 5th is the actual start date, but you have to register between the uh, 1st and the 4th. It's a worldwide reset. We're going to be doing it with you. And the only time ever, we're going to add a special class where we once a week come in and we do maneuvers with you and answer questions as a part of the very first worldwide reset starting January 1st and 4th to register. Go to our website, sign up through the link in the bio, register for our new community app, a new community portal. If you've already done a reset, go back and do it. If you haven't done it, do it. We're doing it with you. This is gonna be super powerful. Looking forward to seeing everybody there. Sony, I'm glad you're gonna do the reset with us. 
website, humangarage.net. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Come on, put it all in there, I'm in. Let everybody know you're going to do it. <clears throat> I'm in, awesome, awesome. It's great fun, we're doing it too. Yeah, I want to do it with you guys. We're gonna feel everything that you're feeling on a daily basis. <clears throat> Join. So if we're already in the app, we are in. Uh, if you're in the new app, yeah, but you still have to register for the 28-day reset. So in the app, you have to actually go and register for the reset. It says it on the side. Uh, side, you can go there. <clears throat> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Awesome. I love this. Keep putting it in if you're in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Can't wait already. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be cool. I've never done the reset with the community publicly. I've done it in person. We did it ourselves. And by the way, guys, I'm in, I'm in. Keep putting that in there. I, I, my first reset, I got to 22 days and I buggered out. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Awesome, awesome. When is it? Register between first and fourth starts on the fifth and goes through for 28 days. And the next one will be be on the I'm in I'm in so the actual reset starts on the 15th because you go through the one the three the seven there are different courses every day there's different instruction every day it's there's also shortened up so you don't have to watch our podcasts it's shortened up into the actual content that we want you to see the, the points it's more movement based more instruction on how to do stuff how to work with your body left represents Feminine issues could be emotional, mother, um, it could be uh, your emotional side not opening up, it could be your mother, it could be your wife, it could be uh, receiving also. Receiving is also feminine activity. And we both have masculine and feminine, so I got lots of feminine issues. I mean, I'm becoming more in touch with my feminine side over the years, more inclusive. January 4th, right on. It's a good time. I have stomach blow. Uh, reset will help. Yeah, but you can go do the lower reset and the barefoot sprinter routine right now and your stomach bloating should start to go away. <clears throat> Is the mass enzymes a must for the reset? No, I mean, it's not a must for the reset. I mean, and uh, Haruka, you're in Japan. I know it's a difference out there, but no, not a must. But I'm just saying those are designed to help your body process more. And one of the things that the mass enzymes do and the bioptics, they take out a, a massive amount of the energy you use in digestion. We're talking like 40 to 50 percent of your the energy your body expends in digestion you get back that energy goes into healing that's what it does it's just giving you a hands up in the uk yeah but we have supplements we ship to the uk all the time you can do it without supplements guys but i'm going to tell you if you don't get our supplements i'm not trying to sell you supplements at all go get dietitian sir you get a bag a 10 or 20 pound bag for like 30 40 dollars it will last you two years get the irish she moss locally because when your body starts to detox and you start to move those fascial layers, it requires hydration to get in there. The number one cause of people not removing trauma or toxins from their body and resetting themselves is dehydration. So once you've got the uh, diatomaceous earth, the elements of silica, you've got the Irish sea moss, which is all of the minerals for, uh, to hold the water and process the hormones, then you can start doing the reset. But try, try to do that. Like it's not worth, I mean, it's worth doing it without if you can't get it, but if you can get it and you're not doing it, that's just crazy. Fibroids, <clears throat> Michelle, fibroids are easy to, easy to shrink. If you've got fibroids, it's, it's, uh, you get on the autoimmune supplement protocol, um, and then you do fascial maneuvers, and you can use castor oil packing uh, uh, on the body area where the fibroids are, and I would put, you can, Google faster oil, uh, castor oil packing, and I would put a little bit of frankincense oil on there if you got it on the castor oil packing and use heat. Certain brand of DE. Uh, Diatomaceousearth.com is the one I personally use. <coughs> There's other brands like out here in, in um, out here in uh, Mexico, we don't have that. We have, we have a local brand. Um, the Irish Shiwa uh, sea moss on iHerb, good quality. I'm not exactly sure of the particular, uh, the, locals, the local uh, vendors, but survivalmoss.com, they have, the, you know what's really cool about them is that one bag of, of freeze-dried is equal to a whole jar of sea moss. 
and it's shelf stable for 25 years. You open it up, it's still shelf stable for two years. Uh, kids are very easy to eat it. It, it. It's like a little, it's like a, like a topping and it has no taste. You can put it on cereal, you can put it in a smoothie, you can put it in oatmeal, you can put it on your food. There is no cost to sign up, but if you want to contribute uh, to our program, you can become a contributor to Human Garage in the new app. You can go through free of charge. There, we'll never take that away because the majority of the world can't even afford a small contribution. And we, we understand that. We're here to, to get out to the world. So those of you who can contribute, you're helping us reach more people with videos and more programs to get out there. And you can actually sign up as a contributor and you get a badge for it too. You get a badge. Stacy Harder. <clears throat> Where do you find the list of items to take? It's uh, our supplement guide or in the 28 day reset, you'll get it. Hey. Stacy, how are you? I'm curling this beautiful lady's hair. What's the beautiful lady's name? Taylor. Caitlin? Taylor. Oh, Taylor, Taylor. Hey. When's your birthday, Taylor? It's oh, you're a smart one. Huh? You're a brainiac. You're always thinking. You like rules and you like to figure stuff out. You like puzzles and you like to you like to know the rules for everything. Yes. And she can remember everything. Yeah, you're 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 what we call a brainiac. Super smart. Do you know Missy's astrology? Who's? Missy's astrology? Which one, Missy? She's um she's my girlfriend. This is her daughter. Oh, I'll yeah, introduce I, I, you. She's awesome. She's what, incredible. What? Oh, I mean, she's an astrologer. Yeah. Oh, that's her. She's got a big Instagram following. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, introduce me to her. I'd love to talk okay. to her. I yeah. think Misty just left, but you've been mentioning all these things, and let me show you. Ready? Because you have it. This is the brand. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that one, I, oh, yeah, you get the big bag, too. How, out of curiosity, how much is that in the US? 30 bucks? I have no idea. I think Wait. it's like 30, it's cheap, though. It's like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. It's not expensive. It's so, from Amazon, but it's the same, it's the website, because I literally just looked at the website last night. I was so, like, so, 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 so let me tell you, the first time we ordered it, Jason ordered two bags, but it looks like a coffee bag when you see it in the picture. Oh. So, oh. so Jason ordered two of them for three of us. And then he, he brought it. I got a picture of it because it sits on the counter. It looks like a coffee bag. It's like this big. Yeah. And I'm laughing because I'm like, I'm like, dude, at uh, two, tables, uh, two teaspoons a day, that's going to last us for 30 years. <laughs> it, it, and we've been drinking it all the time. The kids have been sick. So we put it in the, I put it in the bathtub. I, we've been drinking it like crazy. And then... Hey, oh yeah, survival moss. And do the kids, they, they can eat that really easily, right? They do, but we sometimes bribe them with money. Then they'll yeah. do it. <laughs> hey, uh, well, you know, you put it in a smoothie or on cereal or on their food before they eat or a salad, they won't even know it's there. We've been hiding in a power heater, the Starbucks drink. There you go. See, there you go. Can't, can't, can't mess that stuff up. No. So I, for, first of all, again, you're December what? This is your book, by the way, 1223. Yeah, 1223. And, um, okay, and that's, that's the book your mom wrote, right? Yeah, and this one is for you. Okay. But I've been traveling so much myself, not knowing where you are. But see, there's, it's for Gary. Yeah, I want to see that, man. Can you, uh, well, I mean, the one place you could send it to is Vancouver. I'll get it for sure. I just, because people come from there all the time. So they'll bring it with them. Okay. It's so, uh, you, so, so, I, so, I have it. So Stacy, um, um, so the uh, one thing I want to tell you about the diatomaceous earth, yeah, you can actually take um, a, like chia seeds, grind them up in a coffee grinder, yeah, take diatomaceous earth, and then you can uh, and you can put in like uh, any kind of oils like lavenders or anything like that, or you can put a little bit of aloe in there, and you make a paste out of it and you put it on as a mask anywhere in your skin. Ooh. Ooh, oh, I, I'll tell you, man, it, it, like when people have really, cause I get people that have eczema, they do like entire body breaks up, right? <clears throat> well, and as 
as I've been going through, right, and doing the detoxing, and I'm clean, but at the same time, I can just feel this extra purge coming out. Like, yeah. you've been talking about it, but I have been getting little, like, bumps. I'm like, that's so weird because I never really get skin yeah. stuff. And yeah. then the smells, I'm like, what is yeah, happening? Yeah, smell. Yeah. So <laughs> do they, are are yours like, constant or do they come and go? I feel like the last few weeks, they're pretty consistent. Um... And at first, when I didn't want to get sick, I was just sleeping with the onions. I thought maybe it was just having the onions on my feet. But I can just tell. And the funny thing is I haven't had my smell complete since I had COVID back a couple years ago. Yeah. And I'm getting it back, so I can't tell. So I'm like, Missy, Missy's one of my girlfriends I've been seeing here. And she's like, I'm like, you have to tell me because I can't smell it. I, like, I do it all the time because uh, it was the three of us <clears throat> and – Pigs don't know pigs stink, right? Yeah. So people come in to visit us. And I'm like, hey, do me a favor. Can you smell me? Smell like because because we we were we were alone in Lions Bay and we were up there and and if we all smell the same, we don't really notice it. And and uh, I I was like I'm like I don't know if I smell or not. I can't tell. And Jason can't tell me if I smell. And Cynthia can't tell me because we all go in through the same thing at the same time. So I so. First thing when people come in, like my sister or our, our friends, I'm like, hey, do me a favor. Come over here. Can you smell me? Hey, get a little closer there right now. I, so I was lucky. I went to Jay Dev's um, Kundalini activation for the solstice. Yeah. And I had told the girl, like, the next to me, because I'm like, I can tell there's just stuff coming out of me. Like, I know I'm purging something. I'm so glad that you answered that question today because it makes sense about the emotions. But I just tell them, like, Listen, I can't really smell, so I really know I probably do smell, and I'm really sorry. I just, I, I just am purging some I, stuff. Like, she get a shirt that says, "I'm detoxing. I'm supposed to smell." <laughs> and then it's like, but that's the thing. Like, I can't wear the chemicals and the deodorant to cover it because that's like against me. Yeah. So, so you know, there's a couple of things. A couple of natural things is I, I use essential yeah. oils. Um, um, essential oil wizardry has a called a shower in a bottle. He made it for festivals because when people at festivals can't shower, so it's a so it's a little spray bottle you can spray and it's and and it's essential oil wizardry. You can use human garage code and it's called shower in a bottle, and it works. The other thing you can do, like as like I was saying, um, I'll show you Mary did today, is you know use a lime, take the the part of the lime or the lemon and but lines work better and just rub yourself or you smell it. The other part too is recognize that sometimes when you're doing fascia work that you may smell an odor no one else does. And the re reason why that is, is that one of, the, one of the places that large intestine is really active on the surface is right up here. Large intestines is your shit. <laughs> yeah. so, so what happens is, I'll, I'll tell you what happened for me. We're, I get a bath because uh, I'm working with people all the time and it would drop smells and odors and, and, I, and I used to cleanse my, my energy because I'd, I'd be working with people all day long. So I would take an average of three or four baths a day. It's all mineralized. I'd get in, you know, I'd clean myself up, go to my next meeting. And I'm sitting in the bath and I'm like, I said to Cynthia, I go, man, the water smells like sewer water. And I'm like, what, what's, what's wrong? It's like sewer water. And then she goes and smells the water and she goes, the water doesn't smell like sewer water. And I like, it doesn't smell like sewer water. And I'm like, then what smells like sewer? And I'm like, oh shit, that's me. And what was happening is I was sitting down in the bath. The water was right here. So once the water comes, your body detoxes more. So I'm like, the bath water is right here. I have very little space between there and my nose. The fascia loosens up the large intestine meridian right here is is coming up so just a small amount of odor from my own sewer my own my own septic tank was doing and so basically i was smelling my own crap so clever the body never underestimates like it continues to be such an unfolding in our magic yeah and you know um have you ever seen those uh, and holistic foot ionizers? You put your foot in, and they yeah. So it, they have a uh, like a guide. If it's brown, it's this organ. If it's yellow, yeah. it's this organ. It's red. So for all these years, I used to be amazed because even parasites will come in, or worms will come out, and it's really yeah. weird. Like worms will come right up to your feet, and I'm like, Ugh! 
Yeah. And and so so the colors, I used to always say, well, okay, so what is it? Well, each organ is connected to a color, which is connected to a layer of fascia. Now, the way we explain the body, that makes sense, because every layer, because you'd say all your meridians are here, but only a couple of them are here. And I'm like, that can't be. It has to be. So, so basically, the fascia, the way we see it, works in concentric rings. Each layer uh, ring is associated to an organ. Yeah. So that's why these ionic foot baths would take out all of these browns and reds and yellows and stuff like that and green. Yeah. Because it's detoxing each organ. Like, the heart comes out, it's a different color. So it really is fabulous. My girlfriend has one of those at her clinic and we do it. And it's like, every time you're like, whoa. So here's how you do it for the whole body. Okay. Especially if you get into the ocean or just even in, in, a, in a, probably a non-chlorinated pool, but chlorine is so bad for you. So uh, you, you, what you do is you blow out, you swim underneath the water, um, you know, about six to 10 feet. If you can get down to 20 feet, it's even better. And as you're, as you're swimming, you normally you go you don't you do the opposite you go and, as you're going down. and then and then i thrash like this like i'm swimming like this and i thrash and i keep blowing as you keep blowing you keep blowing air out you keep blowing it out because you're moving the oxygen through the tissue saturated the tissue it goes through the lungs it goes out so it basically the pressure squeezes you like this all your tissue then you come up and you go it feels like if it literally you'll know you did it right because down here and on your quads and down your legs it'll feel like you ran up like 20 sets of stairs and well you you're it, putting more prana in which is your life force energy so yeah you're well you're doing you you squeeze energy. out all of that you squeeze out all the oxygen yeah and then when you bring it in it's like you know how you go in and out of hot and cold therapy it's like a shock so you breathe in the oxygen and it goes boom then you squeeze it out boom you got three times your mind will be clear, your, your, your conscience will be clear, your joints won't hurt as much. So beautiful. Biohacking the body is, to me, such fun when you do it with love and peace. And when you do it with the body, because technology isn't meant to hack the body. Technology is used because something's not working in our body. Our so I'm not, I'm so not against technology, based. I'm against the way it's used. Agreed. And it goes against our own natural biorhythms. Yeah, because if I'm going to stimulate, that's like when people go detox, I get all the time. I'm going to do a liver detox or a gallbladder detox. I'm like, that's not a good idea. Because when you do that, your body is working in a concert harmony. Every organ is an instrument. If one instrument plays out of tune, it's going to cause a harmonization issue which your body has to use a lot of resources and produce a lot of hormones to manage through. So when you detox, you detox everything at once. Otherwise, you create more problems. And like, here we are. No one detoxed like 30 years ago in general population. Now everybody's doing a detox. And what I now notice is that all these people that are doing all these detoxes now, they do detox after detox after detox. Now they have two years, three years later, they're in worse shape than they, when they started. They think they're better. And, and so this is why the 28 day reset is set out this way. What it does is it gives your body the minerals or the elements, silica and selenium, stuff like that. Then you put the minerals on it. You move the water, you, you move the body it hydrates. It causes uh, circulation and, and friction. So hydrates and detoxes the tissue and it all goes at once. And when you release the fascia, the toxins can come up to the body. And it's crucial. Like you start, when you really start to tap into your body and you ask your body to show you, if you're on here, ask your body to guide you, help learn what this feels good inside, that like so you can feel what it feels like to feel alive. And it really does. I feel, um, you can feel energetically like, oof, if I don't have my minerals, if I don't have yeah. my silica, like it really makes such a difference. And I've probably been one of those people for years looking like, why is my energy low? Why am I feeling this way? Why well, had parasites real bad too? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's this, I, I was talking to, um, uh, the couple from survival moss and she had been got a MS diagnosis and they're doing everything right. And they're yeah. taking minerals. But when she finally started taking silica, all of a sudden, 
hair started changing, nails started changing, skin started within weeks. Yeah. That's how you know it's working. Yeah. Well, and my hair, I lost most of my hair from COVID. So it's finally like, oh, my hair's back. I mean, it's a mess right now. You, but you were shedding, that's it, all. It's, I, I had so much shedding. Yeah. Where are you? you, you now? Where are you physically now? I'm physically actually in Northern California. Oh, whereabouts? Colorado Hills. Where is that? Um, kind of a Sacramento, Sacramento area. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's, as you know, I kind of said, I just sort of forgot I'm where I'm supposed to be. I never know where I'm going to be tomorrow. Um, but it's been really powerful. It feels really good to be back in Cali and just, I, I don't know, feel free. Yeah, you know, you should. You should probably t take a look at astro uh, crypto uh, your astro cryptology. Yeah. It's probably close to your sun line or your intuition line or your action line. You know, like I like I was saying earlier, is that um, Cancun runs right over the Cynthia's Pluto line. She freaking hates being here. You can really, yeah. I, I think it's going to change because this last year she was all the Pluto was taking everything out. Yeah, but it's also your birth, your rebirth. So. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think if I remember correct, someone did it for me. I think Missy actually, and Cancun is one of those places that thrives for me. I, I, but I love travel, right? So travel for me is like heaven. <laughs> oh, you seem so uh, glowy. Do I, you feel I feel it. Yeah. Um, there's something that changed. I went back when I go back to Vancouver. That's where it all started. It's like it's like we set our base and our intention. Now when we go places and we go back, I always have something transition in my life and my body. I had, I had the most cool and bizarre set of circumstances, including people that I met randomly, not so randomly. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I, so, you know, I, <coughs> Cynthia's a Pisces. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a 29 degree. So, um, so I, so Jason and I are sitting on the plane. The girl beside us, she's a, she's like a master level Pisces, and uh, we get talking, and her husband's two seats back. He's same birthday, same year as me, same same degree, everything as me. And she just, before she got on the plane, um, she just found out that one of her friends is also the same birthday, same degree, same year. And I'm like, and that, that was like, the, that was like the end cap of three, uh, sorry, of uh, 24 hours of all of these things happening. What day was that on? Uh, was It was uh, two days ago. Uh, yesterday was, was that, but it was uh, now was on a step six, which is to restore balance. And she was a massive P Pisces Libra. And then the day before that, though, when it was all happening, was step five, which is Gemini. And I had all these Geminis, Grandmaster Geminis coming into my life, you know, reaching out, talking to me. Um, and, and it was just like, it was like I was leaving Vancouver, coming back here. And all of a sudden, everybody who called me, everything that happened, it was like one thing after the other. And I feel it. Like, I, I actually, like you said, I look you, at Well, and that's because I, that's, yes, I wanted to ask you because it, you really, you feel it. And to me, there is, there's this magicness of it all coming together. And it's just this, like, it's be beautiful. And I, I can, I also feel uh, inside of you, if I may. Yeah almost a sense of like proud, like you have such the sacred knowledge and very few people know this. And yet it's like, I'm grateful just because I know like my simple questions, I'm one in 800 million, but at the same time, like it makes sense. And you make the unhealthy make sense yeah. in the most simple way, in the most purest way. And I know you carry such that divine knowledge that you get to spread to us and let us share. And I feel like there's a part of you that feels like you're starting to get to the point where you're going to be able to rest and like not do a hundred every million percent because I feel like you really have. Yeah. And yeah. at this point, we're there. Yeah. We're there, and I I I want to spend my time with the people who are helping people because it you know like talking to somebody about their thyroid again and so I'm happy to do that and yeah. I love to do that. Yeah. I have a higher value to helping somebody who's helping a thousand people than helping a thousand people. I get it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And I know that's how you came into my work too, because I, my passion is really helping women transform the sexual trauma. Like I know big. it's big. It's, big. it's so big. And you know, like it's in a, so deeply, like I, it's, 
I was a little child when it started, you know what I mean? Like, it's such a part of me that now it's like, it's so easy to be like, all right, let's shift it because it's so powerful. And to be able to live in your body and feel safe in your body and to feel connected and healthy is like, you're, I can't believe it. You're seeing, you're also seeing, you're also seeing the, the completion um, of course, we're talking childhood sexual trauma and the internet's doing weird shit. Yeah. You're also seeing the completion of, of, of me having only compassion for childhood sexual trauma that happened to me. Yeah. And I, that's part of it because I, I, I feel that this happened to me as a child, mm -hmm. not as a victim. As a soul, I brought this experience to me so that I could stand here and help you help people today. Yes, because we knew coming out of this, and I really feel like this shift is happening. Like we're literally feeling the earth into a new reality, and it's. I mean, we've been talking about it for eons, but it's like this is it, and it it really is. It's like we stepped up, and that's where I've had such tears of gratitude in the solstice for really anything because it's like, oh my god all the pain, all the suffering, all the like, why is this happening? We're asking, you know, this is part of your path, you know, this is, but it's like, it finally makes sense when you know, like, you're here to help clear that for everyone else. Like, you have to live in this, but we just had to know it really deeply in order to understand that. You know, it's funny, Stacey, because we started talking about this, and now the sound is going completely haywire. It's, that's, it's, it's, that's the gift too, right? You yeah. don't on it when it's like. So, so here, here, here's, here's today's astrology. Okay. One of the things is there are no coincidences today. Today, today, even the most simple thing like bumping the shoulder of somebody means something if I choose to pay attention. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna wrap up. We're over time here, Stacy. I really wanted to talk to you today. It felt like the day. So thank you for all that you do. I, I love your messages. I see you always helping people and sharing. I appreciate you for all that you do. I'm looking forward to actually getting to meet you in person sometime soon. So blessing. And I look forward to hearing your reaction too about did you see the video? Which one? The Atlantis. Oh no, no, I'm I'm waiting to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. But I, but but I, I have talked to him. But we haven't talked since uh, since before I left Mexico. I mean, I went to Vancouver and it was just like yeah. boom, boom, boom every day. Yeah, yeah. I could, but I'm looking forward to it. I really want to see it. Okay, yeah. I just look forward to hearing. Let me know what your thoughts are when you do. For sure. I love you. Thank you so much for you and your team and everybody on here. Bye, Stacy. Bye. All right, everybody. If you haven't done it yet. A um, couple things that you can do. Number one, Worldwide Reset starting January 1st to the 4th is the registration. You have to be in by the 4th. It goes all the way through. Uh, it starts on the 15th, but the one day, three day, and seven day start on the 4th. Worldwide Reset. For the first time ever, we are going to be doing the reset with you. So the entire planet, everybody's going to be doing it at the same time, and it's going to continue to go this way. So you can go to our uh, our website, our new website, and you'll find it. You sign up for a program there. You'll get inside Circle app, and inside that app, you can register and make sure you get your place in there right away. And uh, we will be inside the reset. You'll know. Uh, you will. You'll have a list of when the all the courses and classes are. There are daily classes that you can do online with coaches and facilitators to help you through physical and emotional trauma release. And we will once a week be meeting with you and moving with you and answering questions all free of charge. Looking forward to seeing you guys Monday.